Hey, Bill. I know. Long time no see. I didn't send no smoke signals. No, 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 nothing. I just like MIA and well, I'm back. I A. I've been doing fairly good on not like buying whole collections and just buying things that might fill a hole in my wardrobe. But these things that I'm talking about today are things that that they that that they, they gotta go back. You know what time it is. It's time for a reverse haul. It's definitely time for shit I am taking back. Or shit I'm returning. Wow, classy. Let me talk about the first thing I am taking back. And right now it is people are talking about this product all over the place. And sis, you are the same complexion as me, a little bit lighter and or anything past me. Skip this product. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Now this powder, I had really, 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 really high hopes for. Hourglass pretty much can't do no wrong by me. Like personally, I love Hourglass. I knew the powder in this was going to be finely milled. It's gonna be some of the best powders I've ever felt. Look at the way this product is packaged. It's beautifully packaged. Inside the cap, you have a rubber ring that keeps the product in the center right here. And the sifter is a letter H, like as in hourglass. Now, this product is made in a way that, you know how when you usually get translucent powders, you usually get like all the holes, appropriated holes, and powder gets everywhere. This makes sure that you release the perfect amount of powder and it stays in the center and you're good to go. So I don't have a problem with the packaging. This product actually is very, very light and very finely milled. It's almost like dust. It's not dust, but it's like flour. So that's not where my, that's not my gripe about this product. My gripe about the product is this thing leaves my under eye and highlight areas ashy as fuck. It's 2018. I thought we were done with the ashy setting powders. Like RCMA no color color powder is white. Like crack. This with the tint of beige, yellow, whatever the color this is, cream, you would think wouldn't cause ashiness, but this on me, straight ashy, just not a good look. I'm gonna leave this for the people with the complexion that can handle this, and I'm sad that I can't use it, but I'm okay getting my quads back in this, sis. For real. All right, so the next two things we're gonna be talking about are foundations. You know I'm a foundation junkie, you know I love to try them all. I'm like, gotta catch them all, gotta try them all. I don't know what the fuck possessed me to get this. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation, and I'm the color Deep Honey. The color's amazing. It goes on creamy. It's nice and smooth and easily to blend. Like, it's, it's a good product, but not for my oily skin. This is the oily girl's nightmare. When I first put this foundation on, it was so pretty. I was like, oh, don't you look good? It blends out easily. See what I mean? It's a great color. My problem with this foundation is 45 minutes later, I am grease ballaholic, like, and touching up doesn't help. Like, just, no. Grease ball, grease ball, grease ball. If you're oily skin like me, just, just, just skip that. And my second foundation is this one. I had so much high hopes for this. Like, isn't this like organic, vegan? This is supposed to be like the best stuff for your skin. No, no, this is the worst foundation I've ever tried. No. She slid, she moved. When she goes on like the two hours, you're all blurred. You look good. Like for the first two hours, solid. You look really, really good. Anything after that, you're melting off. And it won't even let you touch it up. Like when you go to touch it up, it lifts and moves and just has a mind of its own. She going back, for sure. So the next product is an eyeshadow palette. I have no idea what possessed me to purchase this. When I first saw it debuted, I didn't care for it. I wasn't gonna buy it. But I walked into the store and you know, like I told you, I have a buying demon. Just came around and just was like, it's not my buy, buy, just buy it, it's fine, whatever, just buy. And I ended up with the Too Faced White Peach Palette. Mine has dust on it so that it won't stick to other stuff because like other palettes didn't stick to it. Now, it is a beautifully packaged product. The eyeshadows actually are very pretty. That's gorgeous. Peach Passion, I mean, let's be serious. And it smells like white peach. That's probably where they got me, it was the peaches. Probably the peaches, because I love the peachy matte palette that they have, that like it came out right before this one. That's one of my favorites, go to. Love the mattes and that. But this one on the other hand, just not gonna make it. They all end up just looking the same on me. Like this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, they all like end up looking the same. All the mattes, 
the transitional mats. For me, it will end up just looking the same. And on the grill, just it, it's just not enough. So she gotta go back. Now this last product, I'm surprised I really wanna take this thing back, but it's this. This is the Narcissist Wanted palette. When I first saw this, I was like, yeah, this is giving me everything I needed in the travel palette. So I thought. On my eyes, for some odd reason, all of these look, all, any look that I do end up looking exactly the same. Um, the eyeshadows perform beautifully, that's not the problem. It's just these two transition colors aren't varied enough for me. Like, I could make this color with just a little bit of this and that, if that makes sense. Like, or this and that. It, it, it's just not, the shimmers are just okay. Um, I feel like I have enough warm neutral palettes in my collection that this one, this one gets the axe. Sorry, Nars. So I, yeah, so that wraps up everything that I'm definitely returning. But I'm exchanging these two products, Honorary Mentions. It is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Foundation in the color Cool Almond, because I am not Cool Almond. I'm Warm Almond or Golden Almond, but I'm not Cool Almond. Definitely Almond, though. And Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G100. I'm N100, and basically these two are just going to get exchanged. Anyway, girl, I don't want to be on your line longer than I need to be. Plus, I gotta get on the line and return these things. That's gonna be fun. Now, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button. You know, like, you gotta hit the notification button if you want, if you want my calls to come through. Like, my calls to come through, you gotta subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm gonna just get off the line. I'll call you a little later, boo. Bye.